It's time to look at recording some audio. Every instrument that we have so far in this track uses either a software instrument or some kind of drummer device, which means it's all electronically generated, it's all digital, and they're just triggering samples. We can actually record audio, which means we'll be using the microphone in the iPhone to record something from the real world, like our voice, our vocal, we can make a field recording or whatever we want. So to record some vocals, we simply create a new track and we use the audio recorder. And you'll see that there are a few different presets here. We've got voice and instrument. Now, there are a couple of options when it comes to recording audio. If you just have an iPhone, we're gonna make do with what we've got. But you, if you wanna get a bit more professional sound, you can buy an audio device, a audio interface that you can plug into your iPhone and then use a higher quality microphone. Or you can also use something like an iRig, which means you can plug a guitar directly into your iPhone. Because this is my simple free course on YouTube, we're just going to assume that we're just using an iPhone here. We're going to select voice here. And when I click on that, it's going to show me the smart controls. And we have all these options here. I'm not going to go into these right now. All you need to know is that on the top left hand corner on the down facing arrow, there are a number of different presets. Like we have the presets for the different instruments. Now we have some audio presets will, which will change the tone. I've just hit there that lead vocals, which was the, the default preset. But you can see now that we're not on a software instrument track, that we're on an audio track. We have all kinds of different audio effects, which will change the tone. It'll use different effects like reverb, compression, delay. And you can see here, there are a number of vocal presets. What we're going to do is just keep it on the default one. And then I'm also going to click out of the smart controls, which is this icon right here, because we can always change the effects after we've recorded it. When we record in a uh, noise, such as our vocals or a field recording, it's going to record the raw audio, exactly how it came in. And then we can change all the presets afterwards. It never changes the recording. The original recording stays the same. So here it's telling me, point your iPhone towards the sound you want to record, then tap the record button to begin. So we're going to just start a simple recording and the microphone for the iPhone is on the bottom end where you plug in the lightning cable to charge it. So that's where the microphone sits. So see if I point that end a bit closer to my mouth, you'll see that that metering gets a bit higher there, which is this little icon here. This is just showing me the volume of the incoming audio level. Okay, so I'm going to go out to my track view very quickly. And I'm going to just solo this instrument, which is the vocal here, by going to the track controls and hitting this little headphone icon. I only want to hear the vocals. Because it's early in the morning here while I'm recording, I don't really feel like singing. So I'm just going to record myself talking so I can show you the different ways we can alter a voice after we've recorded it. So let's record some of this voice here. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio input using the Apple iPhone microphone. Okay, you'll notice after I started recording, that are now a different screen has come up where it said tap uh, point towards your voice. We now have some different presets here. Let's have a listen to that recording and see whether that recorded okay. You'll see here that instead of MIDI notes or the software instrument protocol, we have a waveform down the bottom there. Let's have a listen. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio input using the Apple I. So there we go, that recorded fine. So if I go back to the recording controls, hitting this button right here, there are some fun vocal presets or audio presets, and we can just dial this wheel around. So we've got something like sci-fi. Let's have a listen to that. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the
Okay, so that's a sci-fi sound. Here's a chipmunk. This is a test recording showing the recording feature. Okay, what else do we have? We've got extreme tuning. That will tune it to notes. This is a test recording. Because I'm not really singing, that's not going to work. We can uh, sound like we're on a, a telephone or a megaphone. Showing the recording features. So this can be a lot of fun. Um, this is a bit of sound design that we have going here. And you'll notice for each sort of preset that we have, there are some controls here called tone and squeeze. So in real um, audio music production terms, the tone is the equalizer and the squeeze is the compressor. And this is what will happen if we alter the tone. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio input using the Apple iPhone. Okay, so to the left adds more bass and more body to the sound, and to the right takes away some of the bass. It does uh, what's called a high pass filter, and it will accentuate some of the high ends, the treble. And when we pop some squeeze on there, this is going to compress the signal, make it thicker and, and a much bigger sound. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio input using the Apple iPhone microphone. So if you dial it all the way to the right, you can hear what over compressing sounds like. Okay, so from this screen here, we can also use the settings that we had a quick look at to change from fun to vocal presets. And we can have a listen to some of these presets. Let's go radio ready. So now we have some extra controls. So those fun ones, we could just dial them up. But now we have the tone, which is the equalizer. In the middle, we have the pitch control, which is auto tune. And the compressor we had a quick look at, which is also known as the squeeze. Now we have a bit of delay and ambience, delay and reverb. So let's have a listen to this one. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio input using the app. So you can see it's changed the tone. Let's have a listen to another one. Let's have a listen to Pop Overdrive. This is a test recording showing the recording features of the audio. In okay, so that's how you record audio into your iPhone. To get out of this screen and back to the track view, we're gonna hit this button here. And if you wanna access those settings again, you simply hit this button right here and it will take you right back to where we were. So that's a brief look at how we can record audio in GarageBand for the iPhone.